my support and a number of people that have kind of followed my journey through the past four years. Obviously being at home Olympics there's so much more interest and, and almost so much more investment as well because people people feel like they're uh, investing their time and effort into to a home Olympics. So um, there is that added pressure but at the same time you know the pressure is a small price to pay for the huge amounts of support that we've been getting and you just need to see every night stadium, even the heat sessions have just been absolutely bouncing uh, and to be part of that has just been absolutely incredible and, and something I will never, never forget. I am absolutely thrilled with uh, how I've performed here. Um, my, my target for the, the whole really four years has been to get in that individual final for the 400 freestyle so I knew I had a huge job to do in the morning to, to into the final uh, and I was able to produce that at the right time and uh, after the year that I've had it, it was just an absolute delight to be able to do that and um, but it's it's something that uh, and something very similar to Michael Jameson said last night it's something that we have been preparing for so it wasn't a real shock but at the same time it was it was a huge sense of achievement to be able to do you know everything that I've been putting together in training all the coaching support that I've had the, expertise that I've had, the, the physios especially, that have been able to keep me back together after every training session. It's, it's just, you know, this is definitely a team game and I'm hugely grateful for them to, to help me to get into that final. Oh, it was, it was absolutely amazing and um, I think one of those things was uh, quite key that I was aware of how big a deal it was. So I wasn't overawed on that first day of normative occasion, the, the amount of people in the crowd or anything like that, I was fully prepared, prepared for all of that. And I think because I uh, so recently swam so well, I knew it was in great form, I knew that I could progress into that final. So um, yeah, I, I did have a huge amount of confidence, but uh, the number of times I've said I just wish I could kind of relive these few weeks over and over again, and, and um, yeah, still got a very few special weeks ahead as well. So. Um, an exciting time. Yeah, I watched right up until the point that the athletes actually paraded. Um, at that point I went to bed and uh, I, I had an amazing apartment that was overlooking so I saw the, the helicopter and you know, I saw the Queen uh, <laughs> parachute back down into the stadium and it was just an unbelievable, awesome moment really for the whole country to come together and watch it. Danny Boyle did, um, putting that whole thing together and just really encapsulated everything great about Great Britain and uh, the way he was able to do that um, was hugely inspirational. Yeah, there's um, the thought of having a home Olympics is incredible, but as somebody who's so passionately Scottish, having a home Commonwealth Games is just absolutely enormous for, for me. Um, you know, I've, I've always said this is not the time to make any kind of decisions. Obviously, 30 years old, but on the flip side of that, I've never swum so well. I've never enjoyed it so much, and, and I've never enjoyed being a part of this team quite so much. So um, I'm going to have a lot of thinking to do. I really am. But um, right now, I'm, I'm focused on um, the team's performance, Kerry Ann's performance next week, and, and then I'm getting married. And then Um, it's just this moment in my life is just so exciting and I, I just don't want to kind of be worrying about things in the future too much. I just want to enjoy as much of now as possible. Awesome.